G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, have you ever wanted to customize or change the wording in the SharePoint document library or Microsoft list command bar? That's what we're gonna take all today and have a look at how easy it is to be able to customize uh, the icons and also the words or the labels associated with those command bar options. We can even hide them if we want to as well. So let's just dive in and have a look. I'm gonna share a couple of resources with you. So bookmark them, um, keep them part of your toolkit and you can really customize uh, your lists and document libraries moving forward. So let's jump in and have a look. So we can see here, I am in a SharePoint team site and we've got a simple document library up on the screen. But the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna start from a Microsoft list. So we're gonna create a, um, a list based on a template. So we're gonna use the asset manager here as an example. So I'll click on asset manager and we can see that we've got our, um, our pre-configuration options here we can see what this list is going to look like we can also see the columns and the metadata that is going to be associated and provisioned so let's use this template we'll just leave it as asset manager and we'll create that nice and quick to create It'll spin up, it'll launch the list for us. Now we can see here that in our command bar, we've got a few default options, the general ones that come with uh, a list or a library. Now the first thing I wanna do is I want to just make this a little bit more intuitive for end users. So rather than um, just keeping this as a new item, I want to, or the words as new, I want to say new or add a new asset. So how do we go about changing that? So what we can do is we can format this particular view. So the views are, or uh, well you can access your views from this drop down list here, the default all items, and we can create new views, okay? So the option we're going to choose here is format the current view. So this option here, what we can see is that We've got the ability to choose our layouts. We can have alternating row styles and conditional formatting. Now we're going to jump into this little link down here called advanced mode. So when we click on advanced mode, this allows us to um, create or write some what's called JSON code here to, um, to change the look and feel of our list, all right? And what I'm going to uh, reference here is this website. So this um, from learn.microsoft.com, we've got this uh, resource here, command bar customization syntax reference. Now you can see here that in this key section are the different items that we can target. So when we say key, this is the new button key, the new folder, new Word document. Those items that you see in the command bar, we've got the ability to customize those. So if we keep scrolling down, you can see that we can hide, we can change the text, the title, the icon, and also a few other options here. The other um, resource that I'm going to bring to your attention is this site here. Uh, and this, the Fluent UI icons. So if we need to choose an icon or wanna change the icon of our command bar items, we can use the options here in the Fluent UI. So we can see that we've got all our available icons here that we can choose. Now, if I hover over these icons, you can see that I've got the actual name of the icon. Now that's the, that's the, the thing that we're going to need to insert into our little customization JSON code. So I'm gonna jump back onto our my command bar list here. And I've got a little prepared piece of uh, code here um, that I am going to just paste in. Now I'll make this available just as a starter um, little template for you, or as a starter piece of uh, piece of JSON code, and I'll link to it in the in the description uh, of the video. But it's a good starting point. So what we can do is then just use this and add items as we need to. So you can see that the key that I'm targeting here is the new key, which is this button here. I'm going to change the text to add a new asset and I'm going to choose uh, the TV monitor selected icon. So if I have a look at the Fluent UI here, you can see that that is the icon that we're going to use for the new button. So if I jump back onto the command bar, onto the, the list here, and I hit the preview button, you can see that when I hit preview, that button has now changed to add a new asset. Just a 
little touch rather than just the default new button. Now we've got a little bit more description or a little bit more um, um, intuitive nature to our Microsoft list. Now, what if we also want to do some adjustments to these other items here? So the next one that we're going to have a look at is edit in grid view. So if I jump back onto command bar and I jump uh, onto this resource here and I look at the keys, we can see that we can um, look and find our edit in grid view. So we'll just have a look and find that particular um, item. So let's just go uh, and find and we'll do a control F and we'll go grid. Now we can see here, edit in grid view is what we want to use. So we'll jump back into our format and what all we're going to do here is I'm just going to copy this little piece here. I'm going to pop a little comma underneath uh, or next to the curly brackets and I'm just going to repaste this. Now the key, all right, so the key we're going to use is edit in grid view. So I'll pop back here, I'll copy this key, I'll add that in there. All right, now I wanna hide this, okay? So here, I'm going to use this option here. So we can see here an optional property that specifies the condition to hide a particular command. So let's jump back over to our site and our formatting view here. And we're going to remove the icon name because we don't need to worry about this. We're gonna change this text to hide and we're going to uh, use the true value because true means that we wanna hide it. So we'll hit true. Watch what happens to this edit in grid view button up the top here. When I hit preview, that now disappears. Now, if we use the false option here, that will then make that appear. All right, so we can show and hide certain parts of our command bar as well as changing icons and labels as well. So let's go true. We're going to keep hiding that and we'll hit preview and now that has now disappeared. Now when I hit save, you'll see that that, now, that format and just to show you, I'll just hit the refresh button. What we'll see, add a new asset, bang, we've got it. So it's a little bit of a, a user experience um, customization that we can add to our command bars just to make things a little bit more intuitive uh, to the end users that are interacting with our lists and libraries. Now, if I jump back over to our document library here, we can also do the same thing with the document library, right? So you can see here that these file folder and template don't have any, um, any icons associated. So let's say we wanted to add a files icon or an upload icon to our files label here. We can do a similar thing to our libraries. So again, view option up the top right hand corner, we'll go format current view. Now I'm just going to again, copy my boilerplate template and I'm just going to paste that in. So we can see it's got add a new asset. So how about we go upload a file? Upload, let's change this, upload a file. We're gonna target the upload files button, um, the, the sub button there. So let's have a look, go back to our command bar reference and we are going to look at this particular key. So this one here is upload file. So we're gonna copy this key. We're gonna paste that into this key section here. And let's now have a look at our Fluid UI icons and let's have a look at upload. So this looks pretty good. Let's go cloud upload. So we'll copy that and we'll then we'll paste that in the icon name and we'll go Control V, let's preview this. So we'll hit the preview button, we'll, we'll click on our um, Chevron here and you can see that we've got now got upload a file instead of upload files, all right? So you can see there, just by a few little um, subtle changes, you can really enhance and improve the UI and the UX of SharePoint list and document library command bar options through there. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.